do another YouTube video. We're in the sewing cave. I got lots of stuff going on. There's like Jesus harnesses. There's like wedding dresses over here. There's flowers all over the table. There's like all kinds of shit happening. So uh, it's another sewing video. As you might notice, I'm wearing the measuring tape. It is another sewing video. What am I making now? As per usual, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do this. So <clears throat> one of the burlesque girls has approached me and asked me to make a Medusa costume, which is really interesting. I'm very interested in like the legend of Medusa. I've read pretty extensively on it. I have never been asked to create a Medusa before. So this is really cool. And this particular burlesque girl is also a belly dance artist, which is really interesting. So we're doing Medusa combined with a snake, like snake print kind of stuff. And everything is going to be really snaky. So the more pieces shed off, the more of a snake she becomes, if that makes sense. So I also have to build a huge headdress covered in snakes. Don't know how I'm going to do that either. So I don't know. I don't know. Let me show you what's on the table. And uh, then we're going to muddle our way through this. Hang on. All right, so this is my table of bullshit, and I definitely don't have enough stuff, so we'll see what happens. So we have this beautiful green velvet here. I don't know why it's reading as teal. This is actually like a beautiful forest green velvet, I promise. So that's going to be for the main part of the outfit. Um, here is my shitty, shitty concept drawing, as per usual. So we're going to do um, a couple of bras over top of each other. We're going to do a green bra first, and then the green bra is going to tear away, and there's going to be a snake print bra underneath, and then there's going to be a waist center with some snakes as hip fins here. We're going to do a skirt. This is going to be a ruched panel of um, snake print or possibly just regular gold down the center, and this is going to be like a big organza mermaid skirt here, and then we're going to do um, a headdress, which I don't have a picture of, but that's okay. So I've got all of this cool sparkle elastic. I've got some sparkly headbands that I might use. I've got this really cool brown and gold braided trim. I've got a shitload of chopsticks for some reason. I've got this cool gold elasticized tubing stuff. I've got some gold beads and, uh, I'm going to need a lot more and I'm going to need some zip ties because this is going to be another magic quick release thing. I don't know, you guys. What should I do first? Maybe the headdress? Maybe the corset? I don't know. Let's go. Okay, so we have now added some sequins. I don't know if I need these either, but I dug them out of my sequin bin. Uh, we also have warbla, which is super fun. So I'm going to try to cut the headpiece out of warbla, try to make it work. And I have a bin full of gold snakes that I bought a long time ago. And uh, yeah, so somehow this is all going to become a headdress. How? No idea. Follow along to find out. All right, so now we have this. Isn't it beautiful? This is my beautiful <laughs> warbler headband. I hope all of them have the same size head as I do. I don't know. So ugh, I glued this to my hair. It's wonderful. So I made this. It is a warbler headband uh, with gold straps on the back. And that's as far as I got. I'm going to spray paint this gold. And then I also have... Can we see it? There is a box full of chopsticks. I'm going to paint them gold too. And we're going to start constructing this stupid thing. Hopefully this works out. Is it going to work? I have no idea. All right, so now we have this. This took longer than I would have liked, but uh, I took all these and I cut them to different lengths and I added sequins and jewels and stuff. So now the plan is to try to attach this to this and then uh, start adding lots of snakes. We'll see, long way to go. Well, now we have this. <laughs> I don't wanna talk about how long this took, it was horrible. Um, yeah, so we have that, which is definitely terrifying, and I'm definitely going to add some more glue. And also, I found some more random stuff. I found uh, some chain. I found this green jewel, which I thought was really cool, which a friend of mine made. Um, I got some, I got these bead things that I thought were very snaky, and I got this bag of gold uh, prongs that I've had for a while that I thought might be helpful. So, I don't know. Keep decorating. Well, you guys, I think the headpiece is done. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Considering I just made this out of like chopsticks and bullshit. This actually, and it's really like, I thought this was going to be unstable. It's not. It's, it's very, it's very solid on the head. Like this is, this is cute. This turned out cute. If I ever need to be Medusa, maybe I'll make me one of these. Now I guess I got to go work in actual fabric, but this, this was fun. I haven't made anything like this in a long time. This was a lot of fun. Now outfit. Are you guys? Well, I made this part. 
So this is a panel skirt that's going to be under the regular skirt as a reveal. This looks really dark, but this is actually, this is actually green velvet. It's actually beautiful green velvet. And then we've got the gold, the gold snake print. So this is the front. And then it has these little black glitter elastic straps on the sides. And then this is the back, which is essentially the same, but wider. It's flipping around on me. That's fine. <sighs> on to the next thing. Okay, so now we're here. What am I doing? I have no idea. This is like part of a pair of panties that I cut out. This is also green. I know it's so hard to see, but that is, that's the green velvet. So that's part of a pair of panties there. Uh, I've got some of this that I'm probably going to use on it. I don't know. There's also some gold, but I got to get more. And then these are corset pieces, which I don't know what's going on with. Um, this is going to be part of the front of the corset. Also in green velvet. I don't know. These are all cut out in green velvet. So I'm still waiting on some gold ribbon for that and keep on keeping on. Well, now we're here. These are pinned. They are not sewn, but I think they look pretty cool so far. Got the sparklies going on. And then, gotta go around the back. Get to see her bum. So here's the back. It's got an O-ring, and it's got these cool straps that go all the way under the butt. So, I don't know. I think they look great. I just gotta sew them all together, which is annoying, and I'm gonna get stabbed by 800 pins, but like... So far, so good. The panties are done. The panties are done. Don't they look nice? Wow, this is not focusing very well. So yeah, anyway, the panties are done. That is green velvet in behind there. I think they look gorgeous. Now, pile of corset bullshit. All right, now we have this. I don't know. It's, it's, it's something. It's coming. All right, so we're back to the panties. She came for a fitting. Uh, did not love that these ones were gold. Thought it was too much gold. So we switched them just to black and green with just the gold snake print front. So here's the panties. I've also done a little bit more on the corset. So I've got, this is the lining, or lining, I guess in middle section, whatever. It's got the waist tape pinned into it. Uh, here is the corset sides as they look so far, which look pretty great. I've got the black sparkle trim sewn on there. So yeah, so I'm going to put this on hold because we're still missing a few pieces and go to something else for a minute. Okay, so now we're here. This is hopefully going to be the wiggle skirt. So the panel skirt that I showed you is going to go underneath this. The panel skirt is no longer here. She has taken it home to practice in. So we're just hoping for the best because we're running out of time. So this is going to be from the waist to the knees. And then I cut out this front section, which is this. That's what I cut out. This came out of there. Uh, this is going to be a waistband, which isn't done yet. This is a gold panel, which is very much longer than that, but I'm going to ruche it and try to stick it in there. Can this fabric be ruched? I have no idea. We're going to find out. So wish me luck, you guys. And then I got a shitload of gold organza here that I got to figure out too. Super fun. Okay, so now we're here. I have this pile of hell I have to burn, got a lighter, got to burn all these with a lighter and uh, iron those in half. Those will be the ribbon loops. This kind of ruched, uh, ruching foil applique fabric is a bitch, by the way, did not enjoy that. So this has to be put here. I've got these big, long industrial two foot zip ties. <sighs> I don't know. Is it going to work? Who knows? Well, now we have these. I don't want to talk about how long that took. All right, you guys, so now we have this. Believe it or not, this is finished, I think. I think this skirt is totally done. So we have the green velvet uh, piece, which I put the tabs and I put the modesty panels in behind. We have the snake print piece that goes, or snake print, you know what I mean, snake belly piece that goes in front of it. And then we have this, which is a two-toned uh, gold organza ruffle and two big zip ties. So let me see if I can put this damn skirt together. All right, so now there's this, which I have to do something about these obviously I have to get rid of them those are ugly but it's done except for that I think and uh now comes the part of the video that requires me to take my pants off but I made a joke with Jessica I said it's not a real sewing day unless someone takes their pants off in the basement and today um today that's today that's me so uh that's happening okay so now we have this which is pretty great it's on my body, so it's supposed to pool all over the ground like this, plus all of will be wearing heels. Now pretend I'm much more graceful and coordinated, okay? I know it's huge suspension of disbelief, but if I was Olive and I was very graceful and I was doing belly dance the way she does, then she's going to bend down and remove this first. So this is going to come out like this. 
Shh, it's great, I'm graceful. Okay, so that is gonna be, and then hopefully this will work. Wish me luck, internet. Okay, one, two, three. Magic! And also I'm wearing leggings, surprise! All right, so I decided to go back to the corset. So I've got it, I've got all these little asshole loop things put in, oh my God. Got all the boning in, which is great. So we're here, so I still have to bind it, put in the two modesty panels. So this, if I mathed correctly, which I might not have, this should be the same width as that. So when they're together, it will look like this so far. And there's going to be a bra up here, which I haven't started. Bra coming next. But first, finish the corset. Oh my god. All right, you guys. The corset is done. As done as it's going to get. Look at the waist. Look at this waistline. My goodness. And back. Can you see the back? Hang on. Hang on. Can you see the back in the mirror? Kind of? Not really. Not really. No, I'm really... <laughs> Jessica's going to hate that video clip. Sorry, Jessica. In advance. <laughs> anyway. Corset. Looks super fun. Zip tie? Not holding up too well. Gotta get a better one. But we're gonna try this anyway. Hang on. With this shitty zip tie, this should be in here, but we'll see. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Ugh. Not as magic as I had hoped, but not bad. <laughs> not bad. All right, time for bra making. This is all of my bra making bullshit here. Uh, we've got some green velvet. We've got this snake print. We've got this snake print. We've got my bra pattern pieces that I drafted. Um, we've got a whole bunch of cups, none of which are right. These, not right. Also super hard, like, like bra cups shouldn't sound like that. These, too flimsy, piece of shit. These, these are okay, actually. These, totally flimsy, also not the right thing. But we're gonna make it work because we're out of time and this is what we fucking have. Okay, so now we have this. So this is the bra that I've cut out so far. That's where the cup is going to go in there. That's the back. This is the bra back, which I still haven't dyed yet. That is a problem for tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. Got two sets of underwire because I don't know what I'm doing. Got some channeling. And I got the bra cups made. Don't you think these look pretty good? So we've got the green ones. And then when you go like this, gold ones underneath. So these are going to come off. Ta -da, ta -da. And then there's going to be the gold ones. So those are going to go in here and then I still have to add some snake print some of this snake print I still have to add as well there's gonna be all the snake prints so <sighs> all right we're in Mary's kitchen and uh, I have to dye the bra back so I have this and I have this and I have a pot of soapy water so I don't know let's make this happen We have the bra back. That's not bad. That is not a bad color match considering. It's not exact, but it is damn close. So we're here, <clears throat> excuse me, we're here. I'm just hitting puberty on the bra. Got a hand sew in a bunch of domes. The cups still going. The bra is done. The bra is done. I'm so excited. It turned out so good. It looks like the boobs are huge on it because they are, <laughs> which is really weird. So these are all snapped together. And then secretly the other cups, shh, they're hiding under there. So when she goes, wah, and rips these ones off, the gold ones will be underneath. And then she's going to rip those ones off. And then it's all boobies because yay burlesque. Gloves. Gloves. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh my god it looks awesome mm -hmm. i'm so excited to see it on stage Me too. well you guys medusa's gone medusa has left the building we did a few minor alterations that she wanted done just like aesthetic things to it that i didn't show you guys but now it's finally time for us to see it on stage i'm so excited this has been a long process
there it was, you guys. Can you imagine? I was going to say, did you see that? But of course you saw that because you watched the video because we put it in the video. So not going to lie. I was really nervous about Medusa being on stage because it's that's very different for me. Like building something like that is something that I haven't really done before. I wasn't really sure about the tool. I wasn't really sure about the colors and gold. Honestly, I wasn't really sure about any of it. But like, Jesus, right? I mean, that was a showstopper. Like, honest to God, we were in the audience. Obviously, we're not now. I'm back to sewing. This is the next day. But I was like the entire audience was like laser beam focused on the stage and I could just people whispering. I could hear people whispering like, holy shit, like, holy shit, holy shit. And I was like, you are not wrong. You are not wrong. People like she killed that. I don't think the world existed for the entire time that Olive was on stage because that was something to witness. The obviously you don't get the same gist as we did in person. The video is great, but like in person, the energy in that room was nuts. It was incredible. And I am so honored that such talented performers trust me to make them outfits like that because that was that was something else. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. Oh my goodness. If you want to follow me on social media, all of on social media, we're going to put that all below all the things. If you want to like this video, that would be amazing. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, also Olive on top is an amazing life coach. She does a lot of like really cool, like self-help and like setting boundaries and all that stuff. So if you follow her on Instagram, if you need help with any of that, she posts it like it's awesome. She's a very, she's a very awesome person, talented in many directions. So I hope you liked it. If you did follow us, stalk us, as they say at the drag shows, all the things. I'm too, I'm too flustered. That was amazing. I'll see you guys for the next sewing video. There's more of them coming. Get ready. Yeah,